Welcome to Richardson RFPD's tech chart. Today we welcome Gain Systems Product Marketing Manager D Chen. D, I got a question that we often receive from our our customers design engineer is how Gain Systems Gain technology differentiates itself from other manufacturers normally off Gain technology. Could you offer some guidance on your technology's unique value proposition? Sure, I can, Ray. Um, as you can see on the screen, um, today there's a four type of uh, GAN normally off technology on the market. I have Casco and D mode plus driver. There's E-mode GIT and also the GAN system E-mode. So our products has following advantages that it really differentiate us from the other suppliers. First, we are true enhanced mode. So our device is a simple three terminal device and the gate is voltage driven. So it just works like a silicon MOSFET. So you can use six volts to turn on and zero volts or negative voltage to turn off. So it's easy to design the gate driver and it's very easy to do the paralleling so you can easily scale up the design for higher power application. And the second point, because we're true E mode, we do have very good effect of memory in terms of the IDS on times QG, which is multiple times better than the Casco GAN devices. It just enables a very fast switching and also combined with the zero reverse recovery loss because we don't have body diode. So our GAN device has very low switching loss and very high, high performance. And thirdly, the GAN system has our own, we have our own unique IP and knowledge to design the high current, high power GAN devices with good performance and good yield. So uh, I think GAN systems are probably the only supplier in the market who can reliably produce a very high current uh, die. And you know, today we have uh, 60 amps to 25 milliohms uh, product in, uh, in production for a while. And we also demonstrate we can produce the GAN um, uh, devices above 100 amps. And lastly, as the GAN system um, product has a proven uh, reliability, we not just pass the JEDA qualification, but we test beyond that. Uh, we also have added many GAN specific reliability tests to prove that uh, we have both a static and a dynamic uh, reliability of the products. And if you compare our products versus the other technologies, for example, Cascode, the Cascode probably uh, it is the oldest, um, the normally off GAN technology on the market. And the back in the days, um, the D mode is the only option you have. So. Um, you really have to add a silicon MOSFETing series to make a normally off GAN devices, but this has a lot of problems. For example, you um, this, you add a silicon MOSFET, you have so you have a very poor um, figure of merit, and um, it's you're not directly control the D mode GAN devices, so it's difficult for the designer to control the turn on turn off speed. So you may have the challenge on the EMI, and it's impossible to parallel many uh, against uh, Casco devices. Uh, because there's a certain variation of the silicon MOSFET parameters. And um, you know, when also when you add a silicon MOSFET uh, with this complica complicated structure, you just add uh, um, complications to the switching reliability. So uh, if, you, if the gate drive is not designed properly, you may have some uh, uh, oscillation problems or even induce the avalanche of the low voltage silicon MOSFET. To overcome that problems, some other suppliers try to do the D mode and the plus driver uh, to overcome the problems, but it has, it is very, again, it's a very complex design. It has higher cost and uh, it just make the design, uh, uh, make the design less flexible because your idea song, your current level and your gate drive operation is all predefined. So you cannot really customize and, and adapt it to your own designs. And again, it cannot parallel the devices um, um, because uh, you have the driver built in so it's really not a scalable. And the last uh, type of technology is what we call uh, the E-mode GIT. Um, it is again E-mode, but um, it has a very high, you need a very high gate current to turn a device on. So it really works like a bipolar transistor or, or BJT. So you, need, you do need a special gate drive and uh, you will have additional gate drive losses. Again, you know, as we all know, it's it's also difficult to parallel the GIT because you cannot guarantee you have even gate current into each devices. And because of this high gate drive losses and current, um, it also limits your switching speed and your switching frequency. So you can't really do 
uh, like a megahertz switching with a, with the emo the GHG with such high current. So uh, just in summary, I think the gas system GAN product offers the probably the industrial best performance with the lowest losses, and uh, we have the highest power level that we can offer, and the device is easiest uh, for the designer to use, and we have the best overall reliability. Thank you. Um, yeah, so just one quick question. Uh, what does the GIT stand for? Oh, yeah, the GIT stands for uh, Gate Injection Transistor. Gotcha. Yeah, so yeah, overall, thanks for explaining everything. Uh, now it's clear to me that uh, uh, your Emo device is uh, truly enhancement mode and it really offers high performance and uh, it's really flexible for different types of design. And uh, I really like your uh, feature that's uh, easy to drive and uh, it's uh, proven to be reliable. Thank you very much for explaining everything, D. Same. And uh, thank you. Thank you for participating in the tech chat. Uh, so if uh, anyone would like to additional, like to have additional details and the benefits of GAN systems technology, uh, please select and ask. Uh, we have a link called Ask an Expert. Uh, please uh, select that and uh, try to complete the brief form. Thank you very much for attending today.